Our third presenter this afternoon is Brian Sergi from EPP, whose title is Integrating Climate Change and Air Quality Benefits in Studies of Public Perceptions and Policies for Emissions Reductions. This is a photo of the Forbidden City in Beijing, China. The photo is taken on, from the same location, but on two separate days. On the left, you see what is known as a blue sky day, where the air is clear. And on the right, you see a day with low visibility due to heavy air pollution. Now, unfortunately, days like the one on the right here are quite common in Beijing, and indeed much of China. Estimates suggest that up to a million people die in China every year because of excessive air, air pollution. This makes it the fifth leading risk mortality factor in the entire country. Now, unfortunately, air pollution is not just a China problem. Even though the US has done, taken great strides to clean its air in the last few decades, it's still estimated that 150,000 people die each year because of air pollution, just in this country. So what is the cause of all this air pollution? Well, the primary culprit is the burning of fossil fuels, primarily for electricity, heat, and transportation. Now, you may have heard of fossil fuels in the context of another problem, and that is climate change. If you've been following the news, you may have seen that this winter, the Arctic experienced extreme temperature anomalies, up to 27 degrees warmer Fahrenheit than is traditional for the average. These sort of temperature anomalies are likely to become more and more common if we continue to emit large amounts of carbon dioxide through the burning of fossil fuels. So burning fossil fuels is responsible for air pollution and also a major driver of climate change. Now, traditionally, most researchers and policymakers have thought about these two issues separately. But what if we thought about them together and tried to create optimized frameworks for dealing with both problems at the same time? That question is the subject of my research in engineering and public policy here at Carnegie Mellon University. Using a range of interdisciplinary methods from surveys to engineering and energy models, I study how people value improvements to climate change and human health and how to design more optimal policies to address both of these issues simultaneously. Using a range of surveys in the US and China, we have, for example, studied uh, people's willingness to support uh, improvements to climate change and human health, and have found that, in general, people support tackling both of these measures and are, have stronger support for emissions reductions when they tackle both of the problems at the same time. So using the information from these surveys, I'm now working to develop an optimization model that will look at how the location of different emissions interventions, such as wind and solar power, might affect the climate and health benefits that result from these interventions. We hope to use the results from this model to inform policies that would better integrate climate and health benefits and maximize those two. And we believe that will also help to maximize public support for these policies. And by integrating climate change and human health, we hope, I hope to advance policies that get us closer to a more sustainable and energy abundant future for all. Thank you.